And it was at this time that I saw this interview from a rapper, and this rapper is the reason why I was ever able to enter tech. Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. This is a little bit of a different video because I'm actually taking the interview that I did with Danny Thompson for my JavaScript Simplified course, and I'm taking some of the highlights out and sharing them with you. And if you're interested in checking out my JavaScript Simplified course, it literally launches today. So if you're interested, go down in the description. I have a link to the course and you can use the discount code early to get 20% off of the course as long as you use that code within the first week of this video going live. And this course covers absolutely everything from the absolute basics to the more advanced features of JavaScript such as testing, security, and clean code. So no matter where you are on your JavaScript journey, this is the course for you because it's going to take you from wherever you are all the way to a junior to intermediate level developer that can land your first job. And that's what these interviews are all about. I wanted to figure out how you can land your first job as a self-taught developer. So let's figure out where Danny started his journey. You know, my background probably isn't the most traditional in the fact that my history for the last 10 years before ever entering tech, I was frying chicken in a gas station. And, um, you know, I was kind of at a fork and roll. I was at the age of 30. And I said, you know, either I can go right and I'm going to, you know, be in this gas station until the day I die. Or I'm going to go left and I got to make a change and it's got to be now and I don't know what it is. And it was at this time that I saw this interview from a rapper. And this rapper is the reason why I was ever able to enter tech. As you can see, there's absolutely nothing special about Danny's circumstances. He didn't have some crazy college degree. He didn't even have a college degree at all. And he was frying chicken at a gas station, which most people would consider a dead end job. But by listening to this rapper talk about how he wanted to get into tech, Danny realized that tech was for anyone. It wasn't for just, you know, the super elite smart people that went to college. Anybody in the world can get into tech. And this is what Danny has to say about that. But when I was telling all the people in the gas station, like, oh, man, like, you know, we can make websites and we can we could sell stuff on there and do stuff like that. They were all like, Danny, just just be realistic. Like, stop, stop this. All right. Like, this isn't for people like us. OK, this is for the smart people. This isn't for people like us. You don't even have a degree. You never went to college. Like, this isn't for folks like us. OK, try to become a manager of this gas station instead. That's what you should be focusing on. Be realistic. If you want to kill a big dream, tell it to a small mind. They'll find something wrong with it right mm -hmm. away. And it literally was a situation of, mm, I, need, I need to bring this to life to prove it to you. Because the problem with a lot of people is they try to seek validation from someone that they have no business seeking validation from. Because at the end of the day, this is my dream. This is my goal. You can't see what I see. If you saw what I saw, you'd be, you'd be typing right next to me, right? So I need to bring it to life. Bring what I see in my head to life and make you a believer instead of making you a visionary with me. And once I literally started making these strides, people started saying, okay, this is real. So I, I think that's a big factor too. Like you can't always look for validation from someone else. You need to, once I knew that path existed, that's it. That's all I needed for me. And now that's why I try to be so vocal as well, because I don't know who needs to hear it as well, that they're allowed to be in this industry. If you want to kill a big dream, tell it to a small mind. This was absolutely mind blowing to me. And I realized that so many people are waiting for permission from friends, family, coworkers, for the ability to become a tech developer or a developer of any form, but you don't need that permission because most people, they have the small mind. They're gonna kill your big dream. You just gotta go out there and take that opportunity yourself. And it may be difficult, but this is what Danny has to say about programming being difficult. I don't have a degree. You could still be a developer. You're terrible at math. You could still be a developer. I, I, you come from bad area and circumstances. You could still be a developer. All these are not reasons to not be a developer. Coding is hard. Take it for what it is. I feel like when you say coding is easy or people that do say that coding is easy, it's disingenuous because it sets you up for failure. Because mm -hmm. I feel like once you hit that first real roadblock, oh, you give up. You're like, oh, I'm not cut out for this. Someone else can touch code and they know everything about it. Here I am working five times harder to learn it. I feel like I have to work five times harder just to know the same concepts as everyone else. It doesn't mean I'm going to stop learning. It just means I got to work five times harder. Simple as that. But mm -hmm. With that being said, you're still going to get to the same finish line. Definitely. Yeah. A lot of the people that say like programming is easy, for example, they're people that have been programming for a long time. It's like if a marathon runner says that running's easy. Well, yeah, it's easy mm -hmm. to them, but running is not easy to me. So like if they come and tell me, oh yeah, running's easy. You should just be able to run a mile. No problem. And for me, it's like, it's not, that's not an easy thing to do. So it really like disencourages a lot of people. They're like, oh, well, programming is supposed to be easy, but it's hard for me. So I guess it's not for me. But that's like the wrong way to look at it. You want to look at it as like, this is difficult, but eventually it'll become easier as you learn more. Danny is just so incredibly motivating in the things that he says, but the thing that motivated me the most because I resonated with it so well is the final point that he made. Coding is always going to be hard, 
it, you're, it's always going to be difficult. What happens is over time, you don't. It doesn't necessarily get easier. You understand how to break problems into easier portions that you can tackle. And I think that's one of the biggest things that you need to learn right now is a developer is someone that breaks the problem down just to the lowest possible level so they can keep chipping away at it. Mm -hmm. Like you never walk in with the mindset of, I need to make a website. You, you say, I need to make a nav bar. I need to make the section for text. I need to make the section for an image. I need to add a footer. And combining those things give me a website. It's the combination of multiple things. Breaking down problems into smaller and smaller bite-sized pieces is the core of being a programmer. And it's actually why I created the JavaScript Simplified course. Since most courses, they just teach you JavaScript, but they don't teach you how to break down complex problems or actually build projects that you want to. That is what I focused on in my course is teaching you those skills of how you can break down big problems into smaller and smaller bite-sized steps until eventually you can just connect all the dots and build any project you want. So if you're interested in checking out that course, as well as the full interview I did with Danny, make sure you check out the link in the description below and use that code early to get 20% off. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.